Hey guys, um, just wanted to show you today how to upgrade your Samsung Galaxy S Wi-Fi 5.0 to Gingerbread, which is Android 2.3 from 2.2. Uh, you get Android 2.2 Froyo if you live in Europe, I believe. Uh, so this is a video I've had a fair few requests on how to do it. I'm just going to basically run through it. So we start off, you're going to need your device, and you're going to need your cable, uh, micro USB to USB. Plug it in, plug it in your computer. Make sure it recognizes the device first, or the drivers are installed for it. Then you're going to want to download two files, the firmware, which is 2.3 gingerbread, which I'll put both links in the description, and a program called Odeon, I believe, or something like that, anyway, it's spelled O-D-I-N. Uh, I'll put both those links in the description again, and you're basically going to want to run this program in conjunction with the software. So how do you get your device ready? Well, you simply unplug the uh, the cord, make sure it's just just a device on its own, and you are going to want to press the back button, which is this one, the volume down, which is this one, and the power button just beside it, all at the same time. And you should, yeah, you get this little guy saying, "Do not turn off target," and saying, "Downloading." Um, what you want to do when this comes up is you want to connect your device to the computer uh, straight away. I'm not going to do that because I already have gingerbread stored. I'll just turn this off actually because I don't need it. Uh, hopefully this should work. <laughs> yep, so I've turned it off now. But you're going to want to leave that on and you want to connect it to the computer. So I'll just bring my um, my camera over here now. Hopefully this should yeah, okay. Now once you download the firmware, it's gonna be in a zip file. Show this in the folder. See I already have one there. And you're gonna to wanna to extract that. Uh, okay, and there it is, and you just wanna double click that and this is what you need, the code uh, MD5 file. As you can see, it's 282 megabytes. Now, you're going to want to run Odeon, which is this program here. And once you connect your device uh, to the computer, it will be recognized by this program, and you're going to want to click on Start. Uh, it'll then ask you to browse for the firmware, in which case you go to this, the downloaded firmware that you downloaded, and you click on that and press Yeah, and that's fine and then press start and the process will start uh, once you've started it, it may take up to 10 minutes I believe uh, to work and you'll see along here there's progress bars etc etc um, and you've got auto boot on uh, so your device will reboot once the firmware has been installed and uh, back down here and when you have rebooted you will have you have um, gingerbread on your European device, etc. As you can see, 2.3.5. Woo! Um, not major changes, probably the biggest one, cosmetic one, anyway, is definitely the status bar, status, whatever you want to call it, with the quick settings and the, the color of the battery and the time and all that's changed. That's probably the only. Um, big upgrade to it but I hope that helps you guys any questions please ask I'll try my best to answer thank you